When I'm broken, I relish it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use it. Because if I'm broken, then I just found my limitations. And until I know what my limitations are, how can I push them? How can I get better? But once I see it, once I feel it, once I see where I was broken, then I can attack that weakness. I can fill in that gap. I can reinforce that breach. If you break, it means it's time to fortify your will to make it stronger. And look, there's there's all kinds of different ways to break. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and none of those are fun. And all of those are gonna leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory, or can be the mark of defeat because every time you break and in every way that you break while it's a chance it's definitely a chance for you to give up and for you to just to fall apart but there's also opportunity there's opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better when you break you have the opportunity to show the world the whole world what you are really made of so so if you break if if you break the fight isn't over in fact if you break the fight is just beginning and as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place covered and you're covered in blood and sweat and dirt and filth as you rise above what you were and as you take the form of of who you are supposed to be you will see that in the very act of standing up in the very act of fighting on you will become and you will remain unbroken the number one thing that's going to change your life the only thing that will change your life change your business change your money change your relationship is you must raise your standard now, I know that sounds boring, stupid, basic, but it's the truth. The only thing that changes our life long-term is when we raise our standards. What does that mean? That sounds so boring and dumb. It means that all of us in life have things we want. We don't get what we want. We get what we have to have. Remember I said earlier, we all get what we tolerate in ourselves and other people. But when you're no longer willing to tolerate something, that's when your life changes. The difference in people is their standards, period. The difference in people is their standards, period. And what do I mean by standards? Everyone in the world has a list of things they think they should do. I should lose weight, I should work out, I should spend more time with my kids, I should work harder, I should make more calls, I should, I should, I should, I should. And then you know what? People don't do their shoulds and they get mad at themselves and they what I call should all over themselves. They beat themselves up about it. What changes people is when your should becomes a must. When suddenly the thing you said should happen has to happen. That's when human beings change. It's like if you want to take the island and you're the head of the army and you want to take the island, the most powerful way to take the island is burn the boats. Because if there's no way to go back, it's amazing what happens when it's a must 
to do something versus a should. That's what makes human beings succeed. 